The labels show the region of the gastric body, the antrum, the pylorus and duodenum. The stomach is filled with a non-caloric meal of high viscosity. With a high viscosity meal, the constrictions of the peristaltic waves are shallow. Consequently, the propulsion of chyme is diminished and backflow through the central orifice of the contracting ring is enhanced. Only small quantities of chyme are emptied into the duodenum, despite a normal opening of the pyloric sphincter. The major function of the antral waves consists of mixing of the viscous chyme with gastric secretions. During the contractions of the terminal antrum, the viscous chyme is forcefully retropelled. The terminal antrum is completely cleared of viscous material. During the emptying phase, the liquefied content flows in front of the viscous material and escapes through the small opening of the pyloric sphincter into the duodenum. The viscous chyme, on the other hand, is retained in the stomach. The backflow of viscous boli through the central orifice of the antral constrictions can be clearly seen. A precondition of the slow emptying of the high viscosity meal is a prolonged relaxation of the gastric fundus and body retaining the viscous chyme in the gastric reservoir. It takes a considerable time for the viscous chyme to be diluted by gastric juice. The constrictions of the peristaltic waves become deeper. Consequently, the propulsive force of the antral waves increases and the transpyloric flow is enhanced. Nearly every antral wave is followed by a duodenal contraction starting from the duodenal bulb. This sweeps the emptied content towards the jejunum.